We continue to look back on the life of federal judge Damon Keith and how he shaped the future. Coco McAvoy is live at Wayne State where the law school is named after Judge Keith. Good evening, Coco. Good evening. Judge Damon Keith has had such an impact on the city of Detroit and the world, and his legacy will continue here at his center. Judge Damon Keith was an internationally known crusader of justice, a civil rights icon, and a Detroit leader. Well, you know, you never, you keep working and striving to try to do the right thing. A symbol of Keith's strong legacy is the Damon Keith Center for Civil Rights within Wayne State University's law school. The grand opening was in 2011. To have this type of acknowledgement uh, means so much to me, and I'm humbled by this building being named in my honor. Keith's influence in Detroit, the country, and the world is undeniable. He was the longest serving black judge in the nation, ruling in several high profile cases. Cut down race discrimination in Pontiac and Hamtramck and Detroit Edison stood up to President Nixon and the abuse of power in the White House. His dynamic career, coupled with his humility, made Judge Keith a true titan. But Judge Keith had such a humanity to him. Uh, when you were in his presence, he was talking just to you. Uh, and that wasn't just me, it was everybody he ran into. That's why people from all over are reacting to Keith's passing, including Michigan Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson. He was consistently told he wasn't good enough, he couldn't uh, achieve, and then he did. And once he did, he didn't forget those who, uh, those who supported him. Judge Damon Keith will be remembered as a good man who fought for social justice and won. And Judge Keith's path seeing is really impacting a lot of people. We have a statement from MAACP's Reverend Wendell Anthony. It reads, quote, in part, he was a great supporter and advocate for the city of Detroit and for African-American political empowerment. Judge Keith represents an era of bold and courageous judicial principles. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Back and to we, you. We certainly won't see the likes of him again. All right, thank you, Coco. And